This is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com. Today we're going to talk once again about adjusting the boot menu. And this is uh, related to last week's video about backup and restore. And in particular, I like to use my backup software to, to adjust the boot menu so that when you hit start and restore, it actually gives you the opportunity. It kind of pauses for a little bit so that you can go in there and actually get into the recovery mode. There's different ways to get to a restore menu and I'm gonna demonstrate some of them, but first I'm gonna show you, just remind you what I'm talking about. If you've ever booted up a computer and, and sometimes you know tried to hit the F2 or escape key or, and often I have to Google and find out what exactly key combination I need in order to get into that boot menu. And this is what I'm talking about here where it pauses for just a little bit and says, do you want to go into your operating system or do you want to go into recovery mode? So that pause allows me to get in here. Now, if I didn't have this software, there's several ways that you can still get into a recovery menu and I'll demonstrate some of them for you now. So first I'm going to log in. And again, this is just a demo machine, which is why, and I also have it on Insider Edition to keep track of certain things, and that's why I have a Microsoft account. So if you're wondering why I have a Microsoft account, and remember, once again, on Windows 11, you can get around that by putting it a no at thankyou.com, and you can get around that mandate to have a Microsoft account on a Windows Home machine. So just a reminder. Okay, so there's a couple ways that you can do it if you don't have that boot menu adjustment. And one of them is, is when you hit the start menu. So from the start menu, hit the power button. And while pressing the shift key, hit that restart button. So we're going to hit the there. We're going to hit the power button. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to hit the restart. And it should, if the demo gods are with me, go into the Windows troubleshooting menu so again hit the power button and restart and hold down that shift key and sure enough there you go see this is what I'm talking about where you can go in and boot into a, a underneath the operating system so you can continue once again just like before continue onto Windows 11 Use a USB device. Use this is if you want to, um, if you have a dual boot or something like that. And this is going into troubleshoot. We're going to just go into troubleshoot just for the heck of it. This is reset my this PC. And you know what? To be honest with you, I've never, ever, 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 ever used reset my PC. Mainly because I do a repair install over the top. So I've never used this button. It's there if you need it, if you really get stuck. But honestly, I do the repair install over the top. Advanced options, you can do a startup repair. This is where you can uninstall updates. So if you've ever get into a situation where you go, shoot, I didn't want to install that, that's how you do it. You can also go into system restore if you're having more issues. Command prompt more recovery options and then again you can recover windows using a sp specific windows option you get the idea that there's lots of things that you can do when you get into this boot menu process now let's say you need to change something in the firmware settings you can actually come in here and click here and we're going to restart and this should be interesting on a hyper-v i'm not sure um see there you go I, I've never booted into a, a, a Hyper-V menu to see what options you have. If you were on a real machine, you would actually see the um, firmware, you know, where you go in there and you get underneath the, the operating system and you go into the BIOS. You'd see it at this screen. I am not on a real machine because it, it's easier for me to doing videos like this. But if you were on a real machine, you'd see it at this operating system point you get the idea. So 
So just a reminder, if you want to get underneath the operating system or go into a troubleshooting menu, you click on the start menu, power button, and when holding the shift key, hit the restart button. Now, if your machine is not booting, meaning that you're getting a, um, you're, you, you know, it's, it's booting up but not going into the running operating system, sometimes that's when you have to grab your USB flash drive and have an image of Windows 10 or Windows 11. And then you poss possibly hit, if have to hit F2 or escape or delete or some other key combination. And usually I have to Google up and see what the BIOS manufacturer recommends to get into that boot menu. So it'll grab that flash drive. So bottom line, know what ways to get underneath the operating system. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.